Google have issued a warning. If you don't clean out your account once your storage is over full, well, eventually they're actually going to delete your account. Now that's an extreme situation, but here's some ways you can manage your story if you're getting close or you're over the limit. So my first tip is to basically stick to the rules. Check your data management regularly and you can actually log into your Google Drive and see where the large files are stored. If you open your My Drive at drive.google.com, here you can click on the storage button and the storage will show you exactly which files are taking up the most space. If these are files that you don't need anymore, you may choose to delete them or remove them or to move them to another kind of storage, but this is not my favorite option for dealing with running out of space. You see, over a period of time, you're gonna generate more files and especially if you're an entrepreneur running a business, you're probably not gonna to want to delete old files because you might need them in the future. Let's look at some of our other options. Step number two is if you're using a business workspace account and you can log into the admin panel at admin.google.com and check the storage settings. Now this is under the insights tab and here you can actually see which users in your business are using up space. Now you may find that based on the plan that you're on, your staff don't have enough storage in their accounts to effectively file everything they need to work on or maybe you've got some old staff files that are not active or used anymore that you can trim or delete. Most people find that rather than buying an individual package of more storage, which are available from Google, it's usually more cost-effective to just upgrade your Google plan to the next plan up. So if you're on a business starter plan, you might move up to standard. If you're on standard, you might move up to plus or maybe even enterprise. Each of these plans give you more storage per user. And remember, this has changed recently. In the past, you would either get a individual allotment of storage per user and each person would have to manage that individually or you would go on to an unlimited plan where everyone just got anything they wanted but google have changed those plans now and you get a an amount of storage per user and that is pulled together for your business let's look at option number three and that's to start to archive users now if you've got old staff members and they're taking up space in your account you probably don't need their emails anymore or you certainly wouldn't need all of their files anymore and so going through the my drive of an old account and deciding to trim some of that is probably a good step if you want to cut down on storage space. Now, while you have active users there on your account, they're going to be contributing towards the pooled storage, but you do have an option to switch someone to an archived user license. And an archived user license does something special in that it takes someone out of the main storage pool. And when you have someone sitting on an archive user license, you're paying less per user, but their usage doesn't really count in the same way. Now, at this point, you might be tempted to try and clean up your mailbox by going into your inbox and deleting spam or newsletters that people have sent you. And to be honest, it's really not worth bothering with because it's not really going to make much of a difference. The main files that are going to eat up your storage are going to be video files, maybe audio or image files, anything that's multimedia, and they're probably hiding in your Google Drive. So I wouldn't bother going into your email and trying to clear things out that way. Even if you do have large attachments that come in and out of email, Google compresses them on their servers, and that helps to save the space that's actually taken up inside your storage. Most of the time, we find that the best solution for business owners is to just upgrade a plan so you can hold on to files because we know that in a year's time you might have a client who comes back and says hey i want to sue you or maybe they say hey i want you to give me the same deal that you gave me five years ago or i want you to look up the records of the last job that we did together and you probably don't want to have any of that precious data deleted if you potentially need to refer to it at some point in the future or something that your staff has said that you need to make sure you defend yourself from so rather than being tempted to pull apart your data manually or go to a third-party solution like an old school hard drive plugged into your computer the best case is probably to upgrade your account and go from there if you like this content please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel now, if you'd like to connect with us hit us up on social media or join our free community group all the links to that are right below this video if you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.